What's up YouTube? So it's Ebo and today we're actually gonna get some uh car content in. Yeah, you know I've I've been posting a lot of those uh podcasts we've been filming, so it's time to get back some car stuff in. Uh so today we're working on the actually my mom's uh Mercedes E350. So um a couple days ago I was just driving and all of a sudden it said that the third brake light, which is uh this one right here, went out. I was like, okay, maybe the bulb went out. And then I tried opening the trunk and see I'm pulling it. And it's not engaging. I was like, what the hell? Maybe a fuse or something. And then at night, these don't work either. So, you know, th that's the only main reason I'm kind of going at this. So I looked online and apparently it's um it's a fairly common thing with these W211 platforms. Um apparently the wires, um one of the wiring harnesses for the trunk, it goes through here. So when you keep you know closing and opening the trunk, it keeps bending the wires. So after a while they get cut. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that today because uh, this gotta work. So the first thing you gotta do every time you're working with anything electrical, and this isn't, you know, just, oh, real men don't do it. You, that's just dumb, you have to do this. So um, first thing you gotta do is you gotta, we gotta pull this out and disconnect the battery from there because, uh, you know, that's just safety. So let me take all this stuff out and we'll do it. So positive has been disconnected just to be safe. I'm at, oh, yeah, there's some, there's been water in here. So, gotta clean that up. And those wires are fine, I don't know that for sure. Um, so, apparently it's in here. So we gotta pull up here, there's a thing. We gotta pull that one out. I'm assuming this thing's gotta pull out. So after I get all this out, I'll just, um. oh, there it is, see, it's on clips. I'll get back to you guys. All right, and I pulled this. So, as you can see, you guys can see there they are the two wires these brown wires are the ones that are disconnected or they got ripped or whatever so i'm gonna put these together and i'm actually gonna use this never tried it so i want to see i'm gonna i heard these are pretty good keeping my tools to down there so i'm just gonna put them together and squish them see what happens so yeah let's go ahead and do it put them together so and i squished them so now the only thing left to do is i'm just waiting on some electrical tape to be brought because i'm I don't have any so after it comes in um we're gonna i'm gonna wrap it up and then close this up but um, i'm gonna plug it in now just to test it and let's see if, let's hope it works that's a very good sign yeah baby hell yes hell yes that's what i'm talking about so yeah see now these lights are on before this one it's not on because i have it disconnected but um that's that's awesome awesome yes that's awesome all right guys um so I'll, you know thank you guys all so much for watching i know this one's really really short but i mean it was just something for people maybe maybe some of you guys have this car the w211 and this is pro this is common on all of them from what i've heard so you know if you have this issue where um your center brake light it'll say third brake light is out and then your um lock doesn't work and then i guess um these don't work either the the license plate lights most of the time it's you know it could be bulbs but all three of them at the same time is not bulbs it's like i said it's definitely going to be one of these wires i've seen some people have issues with the red one the green one mine was the brown one so yeah awesome all right guys thank you so much for watching you guys have a great day